everyone, how are you guys doing today? Uh, by request of one of my viewers, today I will be talking to you and showing you how to use Come To Me Oil to attract your ex. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. So let's start with the materials that you will need for this spell. Of course, the first thing is Come To Me Oil. Now, Come To Me Oil uh, has many, many recipes and each practitioner does it slightly different. So it's completely up to you. You need the oil and it can be made by someone else. It can be made by you or it can even be bought like, um, let's say like one of the conjure that we have like kind of like uh, out of the root. Then we also have people that do it in small batches. I have also oils from I have bought oils from Lady Hearted Apothecary. Uh, apothecary, sorry, my accent gets in the way sometimes. And there's also those mass-produced oils that you get in Botanicas and other metaphysical stores. So it, it really doesn't matter if you do it yourself, but uh, this is the important ingredient because I am using, teaching you how to use this exact oil. There are many other ways of doing spells, attracting your ex and so on, but what I'm going to show you today is how to use this oil. This oil I've got uh, uh, from a local witch. She sells her stuff at a farmer's market. She sells her witchy oils and soaps and a lot of good things. So again, it's completely up to you. I didn't even make this oil. Okay. And the next thing that you will know you will need is a picture. I'm just showing this for uh, example. I'm not trying to attract my ex. I am happily married. <laughs> so, but you know, uh, so you're going to need a picture of the person. If you don't have a picture, then a paper will do as well. But picture is way better and it has to be a printed picture like don't put it in your phone or something and try to do it from there from your computer you need an actually paper and you will need something to write with so these are the three basic ingredients i will go over this to make it the most basic for you guys so anyone can do it and there is like not a lot of things that you will need to collect and you can get started but at the end of showing you how to do this, I also want to add more ingredients to make the spell more powerful. So if you choose to, or if you already have uh, some of those ingredients by ha at hand, um, then you can go and reach for them and include them in your spell. And I will also tell you how to include them, not just mention them. Another thing I want to mention before we get started is just talk to you about free will. Um, obviously, free will also always, always, always makes a part in the spell. So, is sometimes it's harder to attract someone that if that person really doesn't want to come back to us, uh, something like an ex. And a lot of practitioners don't want to do that kind of spell because, again, they don't want to mess with free will. So, um, I'm meeting you here in a happy medium. I don't do this kind of spells, even though I have the knowledge of it, because I don't want to mess with free will. But at the same time, you also are the owner of your own free will. And if your free will is to do the spell yourself and to try to call on your ex, who am I to tell you not to do it? So I'm just going to show you, and whoever wants to do the spell, whoever this is useful for, then you can do it. Okay, so first let's imagine that this is a picture of your ex. Some things to keep into account is that it has to be only your ex in the picture or your ex in yourself, because that is what you want to attract. You want to attract your ex, and if you are also like when you were dating, you also want to attract that relationship back. So don't have one that uh, your ex maybe is with uh, his best friend or a picture with his brother that don't use that because you might attract the brother or you might attract the best friend, you know, something like that. You might attract both of them and then create a little bit of chaos until, instead of actually getting what you want. Okay, so again, that's the first thing. If you want to take notes, feel free to go and get your your notebook and make some notes on all of this but it's very simple you probably won't need it 
Then on the other side, you are going to write his full name or her full name again, could be. In this works, um, any kind of eggs. If you're a girl and you're trying to attract a boy, boy, a girl, boy, boy, girl, girl, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, your ex, I'm just, <laughs> uh, his is what came out, but it could be his name, her name, it doesn't matter, you know. You put the person's name, and you know, that's a little bit more inclusive. The person's name, complete if you know it, or as much as you know, date of birth. And if this person has any kind of nickname, you also put it in there. If this person had a nickname that only you called them when they were dating, uh, something that is not babe or something baby like that, that's way too generic. But if he has a specific nickname that it only applied and like a lot of people didn't use, you write it on as well. Okay, then you're going to write everything that you remember and you want to attract with this person. Like, what are the characteristics that this person uh, made you fall in love with them and why you want to attract them? Is it that this person is super smart? You want to attract their love? You want to attract, again, happiness with them? Of course, happiness is for everyone, so that's very good to put it, that you want to attract jo joy, happiness, and things with them, uh, and union. Uh, but then again, you can also put specific things and you just keep writing down in the picture. Okay. So again, if you don't have a picture, then you can just do it with a name, but a picture is way stronger. So once you have that, then you're going to bring your come to me oil, depending on where you bought it, it might be already blessed and activated. Okay, so if you don't know, then you can reactivate it. That's completely fine. You know, you're just going to pray over it. And let's say that I bless and activate this come to me oil. So it will attract anything and everything that I ask this oil to bring to my life for my highest good and all of them involved. I like to um, include of the highest good because just in case your ex is not for your highest good, then it only will work if it is for your highest good. Again, that is completely up to you, free will and all. Okay, so you can take a little bit of it here, you can take it from there, it doesn't matter, you can even take a dropper. And what I want you to do is to impregnate the whole foil, okay? Just a little bit. Doesn't have, like you don't have to ruin it, just enough, you put it on the photo and then you put it on the other side. And if you only have the paper with the name and all the other things, you put it over there. And while you do it, you also, you, you tell this person to come back to you. Okay? And you say, so-and-so, come back to me. So-and-so, come back to me. So-and-so, come back to me. We're going to be happy together. So-and-so, come back and be with me in this. And then you can start remembering things that you were doing together. So bring emotion to this. And especially because it's an ex, then you don't even have to invent anything. Like, it's not like you're trying to attract a person that has never been with you. So you can literally remember things that when you were together, when you went to the movies, and you keep doing this. Okay? After that, you're going to say this for seven days. For seven days, you have not, you don't touch it, you don't see it, nothing. And you see how this evolves. If the person comes back to you, then it's all done. If it not, then you can keep, you know, once a week, you keep adding the oil. And sometime, you know, if you see that they send you a text and they have not, they were no contact at all, that's already the spell working. Okay, if they, for months, you haven't heard from them and all of a sudden you have a text, even though they have not completely come to you, it has started working already. So you, you don't have to do it the next week right away. You can wait and just keep holding on to this the best place to put it under is under your bed especially if you have been intimate before kind of like you want them to come to your bed again if not it can be any other place that is kind of private it can be in your in a drawer in your under underwear drawers things like that you know to attract them with all that energy as well so that's very important and again you only take it out if you feel that in seven days there is no results so you do it a little bit again and that's that's it that's pretty much it uh that is the basic bare bones of this spell if you want to get it a little bit more 
then what you can do is like you can add things like crystals of course it has to be corresponses this is rose quartz rose quartz is very very good for love and attraction you can use candles white candle is all purpose red candles are for for love and passion so also work amazingly for this uh, you can also add something like a road opener oil why you open the road for this person to come to you right so you can add other oils before besides the come to me oil like a road opener oil road opener candle road opener herb things like that right then there is also this that is a multi-purpose grid this grid is just to amplify the spell and it has two sides so it's completely up to you and the way to do it is like when you are praying over this and putting the oil you're going to put it underneath and get it more again uh the candle if you decide to use a candle then you will light a candle before you start all of the spell and also if you decide to use a candle then you're going to let it burn and you're going to leave this and in the place you do in your altar for a little bit before you put it away so that the the candle can keep acting it can keep doing the same that if you use a crystal it's up to you if you want to leave the crystal there you can even create a bag and save it with the crystal and keep it together or you can put it away once you're done with impregnating the energy and the picture and then you save it but it's going to be stronger if you decide like to put it in a bag and put it all together again and this other things that can be used are talismans so if you buy little things like talismans from uh, you can make your own you can buy it from witches and practitioner and it depends on what it was created for this is just an example this is a reiki amulet that i uh, i made and i imbued it with reiki and it is for healing but let's say this was for love that so you can also put it or to attract something that you want you can also put it together and this will act a little bit different since it is an amulet it's supposed to be with you so you're just going to put it together to activate it and to like impregnate the the energy of your want to attract this person the photo this person in the in the writing and then when you put this somewhere else to be safe you're gonna carry this okay so as you can see there is many many different ways with just the basics of a spell like the very bare bones that you can then add and construct and keep doing things you can look out for correspondences like cinnamon cinnamon is very good for love and also for attraction and for quick things fashion like spark you can, so you can add cinnamon you can burn cinnamon let me show you a little bit of a couple of things so it completely depends of like what you have by hand what can you acquire and what kind of witch you are if you are a witch i mean you don't need to be one to make magic but most do so let's say that you are a kitchen witch or a herb witch then you most likely would have all these things in hand rather than other things you might be a crystal witch and things like that okay so these are big sticks of cinnamon you can add it to the bag as well you can grind it you can add the powder that is way easier to find than this we also have like this is jasmine and dry jasmine is also very good for attraction it's good for love as well and good fortune all spice is another great one for love and even for money it attracts things that you want so that's another one and this is just another crystal of rose quartz that you can also add to things perhaps this is more like into put it in a bag than this one a little piece you put it in a bag and you create a mojo bag you know you have all these little pieces in there that you can just grab a couple of them you don't need to use all of them things like that and again if you only have the picture then you save it like it is and if you have other things that you can use a little baggie, a mojo bag, you can make it yourself. Like this is just an example. Uh, it would be way better if it is pink. 
white or red, of course, but since this is an example, then, you know, you put the picture in there, you put your crystals, you put your herbs. I'm going to put this just like that because it's an example, but of course you're going to take them. And each time you put it in here and you mix it, you're going to bless and activate them. And again, you're going to do like, I bless and activate this jasmine to bring to me so-and-so, this person, this, that, and you keep adding your energy in it. And you know keep like that and this is even easier like nobody even has to know what it is um i really doubt that anyone will go through your underwear drawer but just in case or if it is under the bed then maybe someone can see it so that's another way of hiding the contents of this and just keeping them working with you and don't open it until the seven days have passed and only if nothing has happened if things is happening this is working don't just let it keep working if the seven days have passed and you have feel like okay mm, didn't even text i didn't even see this person nothing then you will only reopen it in your altar you know in your place of work you will not open it in your room and then go and take this you're going to bring it back to your place of work you're going to open it and you're going to uh, use more oil and anoint this again and of course if if you don't have a bag then it's okay to just bring it and then anoint it because you're not taking it with anything but once you are creating the bag like the whole thing is a spell the whole thing is part of the of everything so don't like open it and destroy it somewhere else do it for reconstruction in your altar something else that can be done is the way some people do a grigri bag or mojo bag and they feed it they don't even open it they leave it closed and what they do is like they put a little bit of oil and they drop it over and like the fabric absorbs it and reactivate the bag so that is another way of doing and then you don't even have to reopen it you just feed it more fuel with again setting again your attention telling the universe that you still want to attract this person and putting more fuel to the spell with your come to me oil and once you have attracted this person and is already in your life like it is exactly it's not just a text like you have already then then you can bury this or you can who might be afraid if they see something like that like you have done a spell so you might want to bury it okay so this is a very basic bare bone spells to use come to me oil and attract your ex again as i said there are many other ways to use come to me oil there are also many spells that can attract your ex without using this oil but this um, this viewer wanted to learn how to use the oil that they, they bought. So if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe, leave me a comment. And also like feel free to ask any questions if for some reason uh, it didn't make sense or anything because I didn't took any notes or anything. I'm just like talking to a friend and telling her or him how to do a spell. Like if a friend will come and tell me like how can I do this, how can I do that and that's why maybe there is something that i was not able to properly explain to you as i am although i i know i'm talking to you guys and you know it's just like i'm talking to a friend i'm still talking to a camera that cannot answer me and the only way you can answer is is after you have finished the video and you can leave a comment so just wanted to let you guys know that uh i'm open for questions anything that you need just let me know if you have any specifications oh also if you have any ideas of what else to include to make this even more powerful let me know i know you guys know a lot of things so that will also i bet is going to help a lot of people that are watching this because they want to attract that spiritual person back into their life so help each other and tell tell each other other ways other correspondences that you know is going to help to enhance this film and thank you very much for watching i send you the biggest biggest hug ever and i hope everything comes out uh, as you want be it for your highest good and everyone else is involved blessed be